it's them! There they are! <laughs> what a wonderful reception! <laughs> Everyone looks way strong! Levin, they have a child! I know that, idiot! There's no way I'll lose to a bunch of child snatching jerk-offs! Master Kristoff! I've gathered as many soldiers as my money and influence can afford. I'm counting on you to finish this. Yes, sir! But it's dangerous up here. You should head to the back and watch us wipe the floor with these losers! <laughs> Let the bitches bark! <laughs> God's punishment comes to you in a wave of red fury! Hey, mister, you're looking kind of pale. I'm sorry. Unless I fight against you, Pen will... Huh? Pen will what? I'm right here. Commence battle. everyone in that village, didn't you? Well, I'm not gonna let you do that to my home, pal. I don't have anything personal against the rest of you, but I can't spare you. It's just bad luck that you fell in with the damn master of death. <laughs> That's funny. I'm pretty sure it's everyone else who has the shit luck. Battle begins. <laughs> knew you were so strong. You're doing great. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Just leave it to me. 
Yeah, what's his deal? I figured he was just another maggot. Maybe it's some sort of spell. Nah, I don't think that's it. Man, I just don't get it. <laughs> I can do anything I put my mind to. You know what they say. A smart Griffos hides its talents. I'm a badass, and you guys are total weak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you so pissed, kid. Okay, let's kick it up a notch. What's wrong? Why are you rubbing your belly? You have a tummy ache? Huh? What the hell? Things were just about to heat up. Man, this sucks. What, hungry? Who cares about food? You can eat later. Hey, stop! Get back there and finish those bastards. Look! They're retreating! Master Kristoff, we did it! Glory to the winners! What am I doing? I want to help Penn get away, but I just can't! Juno, everyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this another ambush? Now, how does a girl like you know about ambushes? Here. We're over here. So, which one of you is being pushed around by that master of death? Huh. They always say looks can be deceiving, but I had never expected this. You look like you couldn't hurt a fly, but I hear you're the nastiest coyote in the land. <laughs> yep. Nasty, brutal, bloodthirsty, you name it. Hell, I'm the one getting dragged around here. So, who the hell are you? And why do you want to die? Ah, that voice. I was hoping I'd get to hear it. Oh, 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 oh! I knew I saw you before. You're the guy who kidnapped me. Oh, huh. I thought you were a girl. But you must be that boy we took. So this is the third time we've met. Of course, the first time you were hardly a day old. Probably don't remember that. Can I ask why you took him the first time? Huh? What do you care? You got something to do with him? Okay, well the name's Lobo. Like the kid said, I'm in charge of a little child snatching outfit. We call it the Yester Wind. Ever heard of it? Don't imagine you have. No, I haven't. Of course not. How would the sickeningly moral Grand Cordon know anything? But we hoodlums know all about it. I hear kids have been in short supply these days. You must be making a killing on the little snots you grab. But why did you take this child? You were hired by the Nerids, were you? Most of our work is independent trading, but once in a while, Someone asked us to do them a favor, sure. But our client wasn't the water folk. The request came from the King of Raid himself. Both requests, I should say. Then he... I was betrayed by my own king. This whole time. Ah. You really that surprised someone as powerful as your king wouldn't have a mean streak? He just wears a nicer mask. Honestly, indecent folks like us are nothing compared to weasels like your king. But anyway, here's the main thing. Everywhere I go, I hear about this reaper living inside a human. You sound fun and I want to join up. So here I am. Oh, a friend of evil! Sounds great! Sounds like... so nice! Friend, huh? Last thing I need is friends. What about you, kid? You want to take him? Or you want to bleed him dry? Perfect. From now on, we're amigos. And now you've got to hand him every black market in the world. Hey, guys. You can come out now. All clear? These are my men. Cuthbert here keeps him in line. He ain't the nicest snake in the pit. But he's a damn fine worker. I don't deal with bullshit. <laughs> See? Nice and direct. And he knows how to follow an order. Only because I still owe you. I deal in secrets. If 
find them in Simon and Mosley. Anyway, go ahead. Try them out. Huh. So that's what you call it. So you've been going around tearing shit up, right? But maybe it'd be more fun if you actually controlled things. What do you think? Huh? We have dominion over a crap load of people already! No, no, that ain't what I mean. I mean really controlling the world. Only someone with your power could pull it off. Don't you think it'd be more fun to move things around and make the world how you want it? Huh, pal? What the hell? He hasn't been here five minutes and he's already trying to change how we do things? I'm not saying you gotta change. I'm just saying it's worth trying at least once. See if you like it. <laughs> I'll take your silence as a yes. Ever heard of the Polkina ruins? Here, take a look at this map. It's a backwards place southwest of where we are now. There's a bunch of angels living there. They move around real easy, so they can make do pretty well in the run-down buildings there. I was thinking, this could be our next target. Some weapons were dropped there not too long ago, so they got plenty of equipment. If we can convince those flying pygmies to join us, that'd be a hell of an army, don't you think? Hell of an army? Not likely. Why would they ever join you? There's no way you could convince them. Huh. You're that Grand Cordon, right? Not too good with subtext, are ya? I wouldn't expect someone as naive as you to get it. But, remember how you got here? And why you can't leave? I'm not saying we have to get to it right now. Just give it some thought. That impatient, huh? <laughs> Good deeds! <laughs> Go first! <laughs> what the hell is his problem? Oh, our friend Cuthbert here, he just loves to laugh. But it is pretty funny. <laughs> I like you, pal. You're good people.
do you want from me? First, but to see the supposed master of death in a quiet country town like this. Oh, Endorf, it's you! Oh, hey, just thought I'd drop in and have some fun. Endorf, these guys are with the devil. You better watch out. Hey, this rifle you gave me is awesome. But they're pretty strong. You think we'll be okay? Don't worry, you've gotten stronger over the years. Just believe in yourselves. Shauna, everyone, I'm sorry I pulled you all into this mess. Yeah, seriously. What's with all this volunteer work? I don't see any way to turn a profit on this. What's the point? <laughs> I think maybe you Robin Hood ripoffs have bitten off a lot more than you can chew. Looks like the angels have called in a few favors. Can you handle it? <laughs> That's right! Just more toys for us to play with. We'll push them around for a bit, then smash them all to hell. Ha! Sir!
You think I can meet that master of death? So you're that reaper I've been hearing so much about. But you know, I'm getting kind of sick of those names. Reaper, master of death. How boring. I need something new. Hmm. I like your voice. I've decided. I'm coming with you. I can't stand being with these bandits who don't even steal anything. Oh yeah? Shada, no! Endorf, I should have left as soon as I lost to you. Don't you get it? I hate the rich and pompous, but I hate the poor even more. You might be trying to bring them justice or whatever, but poor people just never stop begging. Give them an inch, and they take the whole damn mile. They never learn to take care of themselves. Shauna, just take a look at what the angels have done and tell me you really believe that. Of course I do. Who knows when these guys will start begging again? Or worse, when they decide to turn on you. People are all too eager to forget the good things you do for them. My own experience has taught me that. I see. Haha, <laughs> come on, keep going! I never get sick of people breaking up and getting pissed! Nash, LaRouche, you're coming with me, right? Of course, me lady. We'll always be by your side. Oh, and one more thing, Endorf. I hate you more than I've ever hated anyone. You should be proud. That's what yeah! it is. Battle results. <laughs> hey, angels, look what I found. Yes! Grandma! Oh, she's an antique, huh? I can never tell with you people. I respect my elders. I'm gonna take real good care of her. So listen up before, I don't know, maybe Cuthbert's arm gets tired and drops his knife right in the granny's throat. You, you wouldn't! Grandma! Such sickening cowardice. Can't just let them kill her. But if I try and do anything, Alan. Alan. I'm sorry. Your husband. Your father. He's no longer the knight he once was. Hey, kid. You okay with the new guy doing whatever? Hey, you're looking pretty bushed there. <laughs> Sweet dreams, kid. to convince the rest to agree. That Lobo's a crafty son of a bitch, I'll give him that. Oh, hey, pal. You finally awake? It's perfect. Neither of them will run off without the other. And it keeps the rest of the angels in line, too. You're worse than evil! You're horrible! This is just... You have no conscience! How could you people do such a thing? You're all brutes! <laughs> I might be a brute, but I'm sure as hell not a person. I just did what came natural. Hey, you can see that kind of carnage whenever you want, right? Okay, girl, you're over here. Boy, you go that way. Cuthbert, take care of him. Come on. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Don't worry, Agrippa. Our friend Odie will come and save us. I'm sure of it. We just have to be patient until then. Huh. 
is escape all you can think about. Relying on divine intervention, no less. This is why I hate the weak. Who is this Odi? I've never heard of him. And I know all the most powerful warriors and magicians in the world. Oh, here. Someone was trespassing, so I killed him. I got a little carried away, though. I killed a guard, too. He didn't deserve it, but oh well. <laughs> Still not as nuts as you, kid. <laughs> I love it when a man's eyes burn with insanity. <laughs> oh, hey. Sorry about what happened to that kid, Pen. Hope you feel better. Pen? I know no Pen. All I need is Richard. He'll come back to me, no matter what. We'll see. Nobody can stop him. Now, I must return to my patrol. <laughs> oh, wow. This one's got some nice clothes. So, you're gonna need more cash pretty soon, right? How about we visit Corsius? <laughs> I was just thinking of heading there myself. Hmm? You don't know about it? Here, look at this map. Corsius is right here, by the Polkina Ruins. The place is crawling with oblivious fat cats. <laughs> right back to your old self. Alright, let's set up a charity drive for our Rule the World Fund. You ready to go, pal? What a pain! Listen! We got way too many people. You really need to bring everyone? Why not just go yourself? Hey, don't be like that, sir, Gig. Five people isn't any worse than one. Fine, whatever. I guarantee somebody gets left behind, though. There, don't cry. Here, look at this. This is wonderful. Now, listen careful and be amazed. How many times have you wished for a soap that could wash away anything? The kid drew all over your wall? You burnt your pots? You bled all over your best suit? Oh, this cleans them all. Hm. Well, well <laughs> what about you, good sir, with the angry gaze? If you act now in order within the next 10 minutes, I'll slash the price in half! Hurry! Supplies are limited! <laughs> this is gonna make me rich! <laughs> then I can retire and relax in Corsius. And that's not all, Bob! You see this? Looks like a bottle of shampoo, right? But not just any shampoo! It's the most amazing shampoo ever seen! It actually stimulates hair to grow at 10 times the normal rate! Okay, let's see it. 